previously on Affiliate Marketing Dude. We bought a domain name, transferred it to our hosting, ordered some content, and now it's time to check on our content, load it, and get some traffic. Okay, so welcome back. What we're doing today is checking on our content and getting it ready. Now, if you have not been following along, you need to go back, check the links in the description, follow along in this entire series, because I'm recording the whole thing showing you exactly how I make money online. To recap, what we did is bought the domain name nerdgettingfit.com at auction for about $305. Now, they charge you like a $20 renewal fee or something like that, so it was around $330. The reason I bought this domain name is because it had some links and some rankings in the search engines already. As you can see here, just a couple days ago on November 3rd, this this domain ranked for salvation or starvation mode symptoms and we also had like how long it takes to build abs and everything like that now what we're doing is we actually went through and transferred this domain and today what we're going to do is check on the content that we ordered i ordered three pieces of content to be used for how long does it take to build abs? Now, I ordered this content about 24 hours ago, so we're gonna check on it and put it on the site. Now, up until now, we have not done anything fancy like themes or anything like that. We are going to do the themes and everything tomorrow morning, Wednesday, live at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on the channel. You hop on, you're going to see me do that stuff live. But for right now, I want to get started and show you exactly how the content is to be handled and managed and everything like that so that we can get traffic. Now, the idea here was to go for the keyword, how long does it take to build abs? and include subcategory keywords. So what we're gonna do is using the Ahrefs keyword tool, I'm going to take this exact big long link that links to the old page that this site had, and I'm gonna put it in here and see what kind of keywords we have so that I can include them and hopefully start to rank for those keywords as well. And we could see all kinds of stuff here from how quickly can you get abs, this was ranking number six, to how long does it take to have a six pack, Really good stuff. This is stuff that I could use to sell ClickBank, ab rockets, all kinds of things related to how to get abs. Right now, I only got one ab, so I should probably follow my own advice. But check this out. We also have percent body fat for abs, which is pretty good as well. All right, now what I did is I went over to iWriter. I got two pieces of content for $40.50. That's for both of them, so they were about 20 bucks and a quarter each. Now, these are about a thousand words each, and I also got a piece of content over here for, I think it was $10.95 or $10.90. So overall, I'm in this project about 40, about 51, 52 dollars, okay? Now, my thinking is if I can get one person to buy a ClickBank book about, you know, abs or buy some kind of ab rocket and pay me 80 bucks, I could break even. All I need is one per year and I break even or even make a little bit of money. If I get one per month, I 12x my money. If I get one per day, I 365x my money. That's how this works. You got to think mathematically. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. Now, we're going to line this up in a very important way. And if you're following along and you want notes, I actually have people standing by making notes so that you get like a nice little workbook that you'd probably pay several hundred dollars for at some guru's site. We're going to give it to you free. When it's ready, just go to downloadmynotes.com uh, right now. And when it's ready, I'll email it to you. So what we're going to do today is part one. We're going to check our content. So I'm going to log in here. I'm going to go over to these content. I'm going to hit review content. Well, first I have to log in again since it logged me out. I'm going to hit review content. And we're going to take a look at what this content looks like. So we're going to go over here to pending approval. 
and we're gonna go to review content. Now, we can actually see what it looks like. So they do a little check to make sure it's not plagiarized. They show you the keyword density, and they show you that it's right around 1138 words. Now, I like this. I like what this guy did, because it's got that body fat percentage, which links to like that body fat, uh, what was it? Something about body fat and abs. There it is, what percent body fat. I like this one because it's 900. That's the highest one. And he included that, which I, I actually like that. So that's good. So we're gonna take a look at it. Now, what we can do, I like to run these through like a spun content checker, like spin me not or some other thing. And in order to do that before you approve the article, what I usually do is I just right click, I hit save image as, right like this. I save the image and then I open that image in my favorite editor, which is Snagit. Snagit, if you don't have Snagit, get it. It's a great tool, awesome tool, all right? What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna right click and hit grab text, and this will actually just grab the text from the image so that I can run it in these content checkers and make sure that it's good, all right? Now, as you could see, I already ran these through content checkers, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit approve, right, like that, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit approve, okay, right like that. Now, you can add a tip if you want, I usually only add a tip if they're doing something specific for me. And hopefully this will allow me to prove it. Okay, there we go. I only add a tip if they do something specific. Otherwise, I just, you know, pay the Elite Plus, which gives them extra money anyway. All right, so we're gonna hit no on that. And then we're gonna go through and check the next one. If they do a really good job, I'll add a tip. All right, so there you go. Now, we're gonna go through and see this one, so we got keyword density, 1022 on the word count, right click, save image as, boom, it's gonna put the image here, show in folder, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and open this like this, open with, snag it, uh, there it is, get a look over the camera here, right? And then we could go through and do uh, grab text, and I'm just gonna grab a little snippet of this, I don't need to get the whole thing, and I'm gonna make sure that in our old spin me not, this is actually good content, okay? Submit, not a robot. I promise I am not a robot. I do a pretty good robot dance though, although that one was pretty terrible. Okay, so this one, uh, probably not spun, so we're looking pretty good on all of these. Now, we're gonna go ahead and approve this. Boom, approve. No, and there we go. Now we have our content, okay? So now we can go into iWriter, we can go into completed, I could go right here and do the abs one, and I think I can just uh, download these here. Boom, well, okay, I gotta click the right button here. All right, we're gonna go to download content. Where's download content? completed. I think it's under completed. There we go, right? So we're going to go ahead and click that and we'll hit uh, download checked orders. There you go. Now I'm going to download these in TXT. That makes it easy to edit. And boom, here we are. There are our two pieces of content. Next, I'm going to go to the higher writers and get the third one. Now, normally, if I wasn't doing this on camera and adding flashy, fancy stuff, I'd probably just order one piece of content and that would be the end of it. But because I wanna get some good results and show you how this works, we're gonna do it like this, okay? So there we have this one. Again, we can uh, save the image and go through and do a uh, grab text and all that to make sure it's not plagiarized or whatever, okay? Gotta be careful with this stuff sometimes. Nine times out of 10, you're fine, but I like to be extra sure. So we're gonna hit accept article. We're gonna hit continue and bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Now we can go to download content, right like this. And there's our content. All right, so we could just go here, we could hit view. And then of course I could put this into our spinner thingamajiggy, spun, spinmenot.com. Make sure it's decent. Prove I'm not a robot again. Remember, always do the robot dance. Submit. And, uh, okay, so probability, it's got some issues, but probably nothing big. Now, we want to do, like, if it's 60% or more, we're okay, okay? And we're going to edit this stuff anyway, so don't worry about it. So, now, we got our content here. We got this. 
we'll add this to a notepad, right like this. And bada bing, bada boom, there we go. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to part number two, which is a keyword deep dive. Now, on the keyword deep dive, what we're gonna do is if you're using an expired or an auction domain name that you bought that had rankings, you're gonna pay attention to the rankings that it had, right? So see, how long does it take? How do abs form? How to have a six pack? How long does it take if you're skinny? How long does it take without losing weight? We're gonna do a deep dive here. Now, if you were gonna go regular, let's say you're just starting with a brand new run of the mill site and you're going for like abs. Well, what I would do in that case is I would find my main keyword, right? So I'd go abs like this, and then I would go to uh, view all, there we go. I'm gonna do keyword difficulty. This is important, right? Cause like abs, CBN, eight minute abs. See how these are like 16? The lower the number, the better, okay? So we're gonna go there and we'll do 10 or less on the low number, okay? Now we're gonna see here, we have abs, washboard abs. We got four pack abs, 10 pack abs. We got all kinds of stuff, okay? So let's say we wanna do something like six minute abs. Now, if I wanted to isolate six minute abs, I would just type this in here. And now these are gonna be my subcategory keywords, right? So I could do, you know, I could maybe put a link to some videos. I could put a movie. I can do um, whatever this Althean thing is or whatever, right? So I can include some of those keywords. Now for me, I'm gonna try to include these ones here and I'm gonna go for the big one first. So I'm gonna try to change this around. We got how long does it take? And we got percent. So let's try, I wanna kinda combine these. So let's go here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna log into our WordPress here like this. We're gonna go into posts, right, like this. And we're gonna do how long does it take to get abs, which is our main, our main keyword, okay? So we're gonna go here and we're gonna do, how long does it take to get abs plus body fat percentage, okay? Now, that should get us both keywords there, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and open up article one, okay? There's article one. We've got the body percentage ones here. So boom, how do ab muscles form? Okay, number two, we got how long does it take to build abs, right, like this. Okay, and what this is gonna do is it's gonna start to rank for lots of this stuff, which is good, okay? And then, once we see where it ranks, we're gonna look at the ones that are doing good and we're gonna work on doing better, okay? And then our last one, I think our last one was this one here. Okay, so we'll do this here. I'm just going to skip to here are 13 ways to get six pack abs. Boom. Okay. Now we're going to add affiliate stuff and all that later. Don't worry about that for now. Just pay attention to what we're doing. All right. So now we have this. We got 3,075 words looking pretty good. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and update this. And now if I did everything right, I should be able to click this link and it'll go to that page. How long does it take to get abs, body fat percentage? Here's all our content, looking good, looking wonderful. We're in this thing 50 bucks. If I can get this to rank, we can do pretty good. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and order some more content for some other keywords that we had. Uh, some of the really, really important ones we had um, were the starvation mode. Definitely wanna get content on that definitely want to get content on the others as well. So we're going to do that behind the scenes. I'll come back when the content's done. We'll add it and we're going to show you how this thing progresses. Make sure you subscribe, smash the like button, all that fancy stuff. Now, what we did is we posted content. Now what we need to do is we need to go number four, the structure and direct links. Now, very important, you have your main site. So nerdgettingfit.com, right like this. Okay, HTTPS, that should make the lock there. Okay, there we go, nerdgettingfit.com. Okay, now notice how we have just like the recent posts here. Now what I'm gonna do is something a little bit different. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna go to uh, settings, I'm gonna go into reading, and what I'm gonna do on reading is I'm gonna do my homepage displays, 
a static page. This is important because I want each post to rank separately and individually so that I can see where I can get the traffic and it's gonna give us a better eye view. It's gonna pick things up quicker, everything like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go static page and we're gonna do sample page. Boom, we're gonna hit save. What that's gonna do is instead of showing this page here that has just all the posts, we're gonna refresh it and it's just gonna show static page. All right, now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna edit this static page and I'm going to put some kind of main keyword. So let's see what we ranked for on the main keyword. Okay, I'm looking for anything that does not have a lot. So like this, nerd fit. And we'll do... Okay, let's do something like best, best workout tips or something. Okay, I'm going to get rid of all this content here. Use, and I'm going to put use these links to get fit. Okay, now what I'm going to do, which is very important, is I'm going to take the link. So here's the link to our big post here. I'm going to copy this big old link. I'm going to go on my page and I'm going to put how long does it take to get abs? I'm going to show you why I'm doing this in a minute, okay? And we're going to add each post here. So I'm going to highlight it, click this here, boom, open in a new tab, update. And as I add each post that I want, the important post, so like let's say I have another post was for the starvation mode, I believe. Yeah, so this one here, right? I would go through and I would type, uh, let's type it the right way. There we go. So we'll do myths and realities of starvation mode. I'm gonna link it to that post. Okay, and make sure you link to the exact keyword post as it is. Everything's gotta be exact, and I'll show you why in just a minute. All right, so now we have this. Now, when I go to my main page, check it out. Boom, use these links to get fit. They link to the links. Here's what's going to happen, okay? Now, if you're using an expired domain name or a regular domain name, what's going to happen is you have your main domain here, okay? Main. And your main domain, as I showed you yesterday, if you were watching and paying attention, is linked to from like CBS News. Mine actually has a link on CBS News. So all these links are pointing in to nerdgettingfit.com, which makes this powerful. We'll put a P, it's like a superhero, powerful. All right, so now what we wanna do is we wanna take the power from this site and trickle it down to our other links. See how we're doing this? We're trickling it down to the other links by having these here. So powerful page on the home domain linking to the little links. What's gonna happen is Google's gonna pick these up really quickly, all right? Quicker than if I just put them on the blog and waited and didn't do this stuff, okay? Because what's gonna happen is now we have the links on our main page, so we're getting the power from this, and then we have backlinks on the other pages as well, right? So each individual page is gonna have its own backlinks too. So it's gonna be a big powerhouse and it's gonna make this whole thing start to build and grow. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch it very closely to see where the traffic comes in because if we can monitor this and grow it, we got a recipe for making some big money. Now, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. here on the channel, I'm gonna fancy this up, show you some stuff about affiliate links and all kinds of other stuff. And we're gonna do it live at 10 a.m. Eastern time here on the channel. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe so that you get the notification when I go live. Also go to downloadmynotes.com because we send emails for this stuff and you can follow along from my journey of buying this domain for 300 bucks, investing a little bit in it, and building a business that's worth a lot of money that I can make residual income on, sell it, whatever I wanna do, the sky is the limit. So, enjoy. This is the content part, wherever my mouse went, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning in the next training where we build this out and make it fancy.